battery's about to die. Hopefully it doesn't die, but I'm at the new apartment. It is day four. I know this is not how I wanted the video to go, so I'm sure this is not how you wanted the video to go either. But unfortunately, this morning I woke up and I was sick, you guys. I was really, really sick. I was throwing up water. Anytime I drank water, I threw it up. I have a great support team. I just feel bad, you know? You feel bad and you feel useless, but sometimes, you know, that's life. It's not like I planned to be sick on the day of my move-in date, but please pray for me, y'all, because I don't know what's going on. But if I feel like this tomorrow, I'm, I might go to the ER. So the first thing that they brought from the other apartments here is this couch. And Tab was like, hey, you just come over here and go to sleep on this couch. And y'all know me, I tried to help, but I was lightheaded. So I was like, I can't do this. He was like, I told you. So yeah, here we are. This is a new apartment, you guys. I'm in, I, I'm in the living room. This is not where the couch is gonna go, but for now, you know, just one step at a time. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the progress, but if I feel sick and the footage cuts off, then you know why. So the TV was brought in with the TV stand. The other TV. Oh, I didn't even know they brought boxes. When I came here earlier to do the empty apartment tour it didn't smell bad and i did do the plugins as you guys as you guys saw from the empty apartment tour if you haven't checked that out please do so so i put those on the wall and then we came back and it just smelled like yogurt so i went back and got a candle you guys know i'm extra oh more boxes <laughs> Voila, more boxes. This is where we decided the bedroom will be. That's the dresser. That's the bed and the bed frame and the bed m mattress, all that good stuff. One nightstand right here. The other TV. Ty brought his gaming desk. It's going to be real nice. This is going to be his gaming place. That way he doesn't bother me playing the game. It's gonna be real nice. I'm excited. I'm excited, you guys. Also, I keep hiccuping, so if you can hear that on video, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what's going on. My body is deteriorating, but I just wanted to give you guys a update. Day four, finally moving in. This is my bedroom for now. This is the progress so far. It's currently 12 o'clock, so. Get ready to go to sleep. Slowly but surely. Giving you guys a little walkthrough of everything. All the crazy stuff that's going on around here, guys. Day one was crazy. You know how it is. You can't find your sheets. You can't find where this is at, where that is at. Guys, it took forever for me to find the towels and our toothbrushes. And if you guys are enjoying the moving series, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. So this was the next day after our move-in date to the new apartment and I just wanted to get a couple more things out of there because again I was feeling bad but I still could do a couple things here and there so I was like let me take my energy and let me pack as much stuff as I can in the old apartment and as you guys can see me struggling trying to get that thing out I'm like how did I even get it in there it's always so much easier putting things in but when you have to take it out that's a whole another story that's a whole did i break the shelf oh <laughs> i didn't break it you can put that back together it's fine it's it's a wide shelf what do you expect i didn't even notice that i hope i noticed that before i moved out i don't, <laughs> I don't know i hope i did and this is another example of 
where you can pack things. It doesn't have to be in boxes. You can carry this backpack and grab a bunch of other stuff. Bam. Use your back. Use everything you have available, okay? Because going up and down the stairs is not fun. So we have to figure out a way to make it easier for us. Okay, you guys, I guess this would, this would be day five. I'm not keeping track anymore. Still got a lot of stuff to get out of here. I'm getting rid of that mirror, to be honest with you guys. My friend is going to get that and something else, but I guess I took it to the other apartment. A lot of cleaning supplies will be left here so I can clean. For the most part, the kitchen is... Pretty done. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's pretty done. There's nothing in those cabinets. Washer and dryer are done. Of course, we're gonna check it. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing. The bathroom's gonna be my main focus when I clean it. It's really dirty, as you guys can see. And I'm probably gonna leave most of the cleaning supplies here as well. Just to be safe. But pretty much everything got done yesterday. And then here's the living room. If I didn't show you guys before. working with the lights y'all bear with me fun this is where we decided the gaming room was gonna go but for now we were honestly just throwing things everywhere because at this point it didn't matter and the living room was chaotic this is the meal of today having wi-fi difficulties so i have no wi-fi until saturday which is great yeah so i got the double steak burger fries and the drink gotta love freddy's fries Hi guys, it's been a couple days. I know I look a little crazy, but unfortunately I was admitted to the hospital and I was hospitalized for um, two days. Yes, two days. So um, I just got released and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the move and letting you guys know the show must go on. So the apartment looks crazy right now. All right, you guys, back at the old apartment. I'm going to clean up here a little bit. I know I keep saying I'm not going to get my deposit back, but it's not even about that. I just don't want, like, if I can clean it even just a little bit, I would rather do that than just leave it crazy messy. So I'm going to sweep them up, clean down these countertops. You guys can see it's dirty. Clean the sink. Clean this. Clean the stove top, clean the microwave, clean some of these in there because look at that, that's still dirty. The microwave was cleaned, I didn't clean it, but I'm going to have to do a mother's touch, put it that way and put everything back together myself, but for the most part it is pretty clean. And you know, just do some last minute inspections, make sure everything's gone. I'm going to try to do everything kind of slow. so. I might speed this up because I don't want to do extraneous work if I don't have to. So bear with me, y'all. For the most part, everything's good. I want to wipe down that dryer. The bathroom is pretty clean, you guys. And then last but not least, you know, we got the little compartments in the bathroom. Checking that out, too. And the bedroom. I want to pick up some stuff um, I did vacuum but I'm getting rid of my vacuum I mentioned that before but mentioning it again yeah I'll see the little stuff on the floor wipe down the whatever that's called of the windows Try to rip me up, try to rip me up. 
me brush me off, I see Bad man likes calling me from unruly Girl, why be? Why be? Why be? Why be? Disrespect, we a shot at the beat use the sink again and everything looks so bigger when it's empty y'all <laughs> got the rug right there you know then the bedroom I showed y'all the closet got a bigger closet now so I'm excited about that more clothes Goodbye closet. Then the bathroom. I never liked this bathroom to be honest with you guys, but you know, bathroom is a bathroom. How do you feel? Chilling, uh, I moved everything out of here. This is all me. <laughs> Washer and dryer, and that's it, y'all. I'm ready to go. And this is how we say goodbye. You know it's goodbye when you turn off the <laughs> the light under the the microwave. I know you guys can't see anything, but goodbye. I did love this little arch though. All right, let's go. Love yours.